What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Look, today we have something really spicy. We got Ken Walker, okay? We got Deer and Kim for life. And we always thought that they would be for life, but it looks like, man, Ken got caught doing something, okay, that he was not supposed to be doing. I don't know what's exactly going on, but from the comments, it doesn't look good for DK4L, okay? And I have met DK4L in the past, and they are really genuine people, really cool people. The same way they are on video is the same way they are in person. So this is unfortunate to see. We already know about the previous incident with Ken. We all know that Ken had that drama where supposedly he was cheating in the past too, okay? And I do feel like De'Ara and Ken are the type of couple that handle their shit offline, and then they come back, speak to the public about it, and just let everybody know that, hey, it didn't happen, they formulate, they devise some plan to put out a fucking story that's basically BS just to save their privacy in their relationship, okay? And I don't hate on that at all because at the end of the day, they do everything possible to avoid drama and not put themselves in those situations, okay? But Ken, this does not look like it's good for you, homie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a side shot of this video and i also want to shout out to the first person who sent me this which is royalty day underscore on instagram okay shout out to you thank you so much she says please react to this on your youtube channel oh my god okay so ken walker spotted out with another woman we're gonna check it out let's see exactly what's going on maybe it's not nothing serious okay let's see all right let's see uh what was that he's <laughs> is that life does he that's his whole arm and hand on this chick's butt bro that's his hand on a chick's butt, bro. What? What was that? He's a bitch. Is that life? And he has his hand on her ass, y'all. Like literally, look at his long sleeve and look at his hand on his chick's butt. I would love to hear the explanation of why your hand is grabbing on somebody or why your hand is on another female's ass, y'all. That is not Diera, clearly. Look at that. It looked like she, he he squeezed it too, didn't it? Look. Oh, it looked like he squeezed it or rubbed it. All right, one of two things. I don't think Ken is dumb enough, guys, to be out in public. Maybe he is, okay? But I don't think he's dumb enough at this stage in his career, unless he just doesn't give a fuck, okay? To be hugging and squeezing on another chick's ass. All right? <laughs> In public, I don't see that this is a real thing. It's probably a prank, guys. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how y'all feel. But let's see. Let me go back. Okay, here we go. What was that? He's a bitch. Is that life? He is grabbing on that ass, y'all. Yes, this is life. <laughs> and he keep rubbing on the butt. I just don't even see Diera being okay with this, even if it's a prank, you know? Letting your nigga grab and caress a whole nother female's ass? That's next level, man. Yeah, he was. Man, look, I don't know, guys. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. But Ken was definitely grabbing that ass, squeezing that ass, caressing the ass, y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like I said, if this is a prank, which they'll probably pass it off to be that if De'Ara decides to take him back or continue to be with him, they're probably gonna pass it off as, oh, that was a prank or whatever the case. But me personally, I wouldn't want nobody taking the prank to that level, to that extent. Maybe she's comfortable. Maybe De'Ara is comfortable with that type of play play prank. But I just don't see De'Ara being the type of woman that'll be okay with her man, not only her man, her fiance, her husband-to-be, her hubby-to-be, y'all. Grabbing, squeezing, caressing, touching on another female's ass just for views and just for content, y'all. Crazy as hell. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel. We all thought that this was a Barbie and Ken situation, but this just goes to show that it doesn't matter how much clout you have, it doesn't matter how much money you have, guys, you're still regular human beings, normal human motherfucking beings in this existence here. 
All right, so just know that just like they shit, just like they bleed, just like they cry, them niggas cheat too, okay? I feel like a lot of people glorify these celebrities and these influencers like they're gods and shit and they can do no wrong. But clearly, everybody makes mistakes, okay? If you're on this third dimensional plane, like I always say, we make mistakes and we grow from them, okay? So I don't know how Ken is gonna talk himself out of this. I don't know what DK4L is going to do about this situation, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. Judging by the comment section, it seems like a lot of people want to take up for Ken and a lot of people are very disappointed in Ken. But hey, it is what it is, man. I feel like Ken is just a regular nigga like anybody else. He just has some money and some clout. It is what it is at the end of the day. Let me know how you guys feel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend that I ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out.